declaring that his ultimate goal is to become a knockout artist. A new athletic chapter begins for Chicago's Camille Marusage as he enters the Power Slap Arena against James Stoney. These fighter walkouts brought to you by 10X World. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to 10X World. And this is James Stonier winning the toss. And the young man from Burlington, Vermont, making his power slap debut, gets the luxury of going first. A former state champion wrestler and offensive and defensive lineman in high school in South Carolina. Five years ago, he weighed 390 pounds, Mike. Yeah, big boy for sure. He's a country boy that wants to do more. He said, listen, I saw this online. I loved it straight away. Went down to my local bars where the punch bag machines are. Started slapping them and setting records. He's been weight training and he's been slapping cinder blocks in preparation for this. He said, every single day, I slap cinder blocks until I cannot do it anymore. Right now, he's got it down to about 40 times in a row. Really developing the, the calluses on the hand. He said, the last thing I want to do is hurt my own hand when I make a connection. I don't know, unless the guy's head is harder than a cinder block, I think he's going to be just fine. Well, in addition to the cinder blocks, he's hauling around 80-pound concrete bags that he mixes up for his job as a fence builder. He does that all day long. The polar bear. Camille Marusarge making his first walk into the Power Slap Arena. This is the debut for the young man from Chicago. Played football, wrestled a little bit, ran some track and field in high school. Said he watched Power Slap 1, decided right away he wanted to do it, applied. Two days later, he got the call. Yeah, listen, 26 years old from Chicago, as you say. You know, growing up, you know, a bit of a turbulent childhood. He was getting into a lot of fights, bar fights, things like that. That proved to him that I could take a shot. As soon as he saw this, as you mentioned, signed up, wanted to be a part of it big time because he wants to make something of his life. His whole family are very, very excited for this opportunity, apart from his mother. You know, and, yeah, listen, I get it. Mothers never want to see anyone doing anything like this because he's a little mommy's boy at heart, but let me tell you, three, 102 pounds, this man is gigantic. Yeah, now mom was a little nervous, but dad was pumped up. I Comes so from boring. a strong Polish family. That's said, my boy. My dad, my uncles, they could not wait to see me get going. Super heavyweights as we go to the tail of the tape. These are the big boys, our first 300 pounder and Camille Marusage stepping into the Power Slap Arena. He has a one inch reach advantage over James Stonier, who stands two inches tall. Just Bernard, let's send it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the first ever Power Slap Super Heavyweight Division. Introducing to you first, out of the blue corner, he stands six feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 268 and one half pounds. Out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, James Sespilly Stonier. No! And now, introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 301 half pounds. Out of Orland Park, Illinois, Camille Polar Bear Marusage. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Smith. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, James Stonier. Camille, move back. James, move back. Look at All right, fighters to the center. James Stonier making his debut against Camille Marusage making his debut as well. Our first ever super heavyweight match here in Power Slap. Working on that necklace a little bit Horse. by taking it off. Can't James have that jewelry. James Stonier. Right. You will strike Concrete first. What's going to be your hand and count? Left hand three. Left hand on three. You must measure. Stoner by name. Maybe we'll see the hands of stone. Oh, the lefty. Let's see what he has. One, two. Oh, oh he's 
doubled yeah. him. Let's see if he can remain on his feet here. Oh. I don't know. Good slap. Good slap indeed. It's like that side of his face starting to swell up a little bit. You can see the redness on Maru Sarge. Totally legal. Clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle, baby. There you go. Talk to your coach. Nice shot. You know, some of the other people that got rocked at Power Slap 1, they said, listen, we've got to learn to take advantage of the 10 seconds. Sometimes when they get knocked down or whatever. You know, like in boxing, they'll, they'll take a knee and they'll wait until right. hand the eight and count, count or the nine and then three they bounce three. back up. Right hand on three, you must measure. Mao Sarge measure. never hit the deck so he didn't have to do that, but that is something to bear in mind. See what kind of Polish power he has. Fight, stand up, stand still. Oh, Stonier stand takes that. Oh, look at that, Stare from Stonier. Stone-faced. Good, go talk to your coach. Yeah. All right. He's fine, he took that no problem. Yes. Both of these monsters doing a nice job of eating the first round strikes. I mean, yeah, of course, super heavyweight, they're bigger guys, bigger power, but bigger necks, bigger jaws, bigger, you know, they take a better shot. All right, cover. Hand, count. Right hand, uh, left hand three. Left hand on three, you must measure. I think this, measure. if he lands a big one here, this could be it. Wow. I'm sorry, did not take it as well. Two. Oh, that's a solid one. If the Try catchers, to use the table for help. If the catcher were there, he would have gone down. Take your time. Deep breath from our Sarge. a minute to recover. As a full minute. He's on his feet. Still a little wobbly as he's walking back to his coach, Trujillo. Look at this. Oh. Gosh. James Stonia seems Time. to have the bigger Doctor. power. Yeah, I would say that is a, that's a fair assessment, Michael Bisbee. Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's clearly evident, isn't it? I'm, I'm not known for my vision, but I could see that playing as day. All right, let's listen to talking to the doctor. Start the clock, continue. Okay, get a little more wind up on this, okay? Hit hard, hit hard. Let's go. I used to got used to that 50 seconds. Coaching coming in from Robert Trujillo, who is a fantastic yeah, mixed martial back. artist She's and slap as fighter as, as well. Okay? Tell him Let's to get a little more wind up. All right, so Stonier's won the first two rounds. Hand, count. Yeah, without question. Three three. By far. Right hand on three. You must shots, measure. The bigger damage, the bigger impact. My Osage has got to make up some ground measure. here. One. Seems to be going in slow motion. And I know he's going in slow motion. He doesn't there sit with it. I think he's rocked. Two flip. shots. Look at that stare from Stonier right oh. through his soul. Blows him a kiss. I'm telling you, Mahu Sarge may go down here. Fucking strong shit, bro. Let's go. This is you, man. You're winning this fight. But let's make another clean one. Let's, let's send him home with something, all right? Ryan Phillips look, is the ultimate hype man. He's supposed to be a coach. He's just a hype right, man. Recover. Hand count. James Stonier was actually three. supposed to fight Left somebody else three. at heavyweight. You must measure. Measure. Insisted on fighting. Now gets a super heavyweight matchup and could win One. in his debut. Two. Oh! oh yeah. In the face. That's another good one. Clean slap. He was in a lot of pain there. You could see it. Maru Sarge is taking an absolute beating from Stone. Recover. recover. One and done. You got this, brother. You gotta take no more. Okay. Put everything you fucking got into this slap, okay? This is your last one. I'm gonna say he's gonna face like a slapped ass. He's gonna face like a slapped face. Hey, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Right on three, cock back, hit him as hard as you can. Believe in yourself. It's your last one. Hit as hard as you can on that mouthpiece. In your position. I just don't know if Maru Sarge has the right power Right hand on three. You must measure. It's the damage that he's taken. I'm sure he's a very powerful man, but even now, look, you see, he was wobbling there a little bit. You must measure. Two big shots from Stonier. Stonier is stone-faced when he receives these strikes. Watch him. Time! 
slap. Oh. No slap. He ran out of yep. time. It's over. You got to keep an eye you on gotta the clock. Before it gets to zero. You know what? Trujillo's a really smart coach. He should have said something to Maru Saj in his corner. I got to keep an eye on him. Yep, that. yep. So we did, didn't see a third round. Realistically, I don't think we necessarily needed one. The only way Maru Saj could have won would have been by KO because Stonia was way ahead of the scorecards with respect to Maru Saj. But I say tonight, he goes back to Chicago on the losing side. Little work to do for Maru Sarge. No, that's it. We're done. That's it, baby. And I would say this. James Stonier from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, the former state champion wrestler and offensive and defensive lineman in high school, is a force to be reckoned with and easily could be fighting heavyweight. <laughs> oh, for sure. I think he what, came in at 268. Yeah, so oh. a couple of pounds over the heavyweight limit. Here, baby. There's the scorecard. You know, 10 Not nine, going anywhere. No and, way. and as I said earlier, he was supposed to fight heavyweight, insisted on fighting. Maru Saj was there at super heavyweight without a match. Yeah, he says, yeah let, let's go. I got but it. You come all this way, you want to get down and dirty, you want to slap some faces, you want to go home, a winner. He started off strong in round one here. Yeah, he got an early lead. He did damage right from the get go. <laughs> round two here. Kept up the momentum. Huge slap here. And once again, big, big damage done. Marusaj visibly hurt. And I feel that that affected the, the ability for him to land a solid strike. There was a big difference in power. Round three again. Marusaj was very lucky to stay on the feet. But there it is. Oh, that's the worst. Beaten by the clock. To me, that's inexcusable to run out of time. We, we've seen, we saw it a couple times on Power Slap 1. I mean, look at the reactions. <laughs> <laughs> all Frank does is raise an eyebrow. He's seen it all. There's a few people raising eyebrows. Yeah, but this just one little tiny eyebrow raise from Frank. That's it. Can't get a reaction. And now for the official decision. Brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Com, we sent it to Justin Bernard. Late, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, James Saspilly ah! Stoner. Who's next?